Gosh, I wonder what happened to Rusty this morning. Cameras won't wait. Is he still in bed, Rennie? Watch this, kids. Rennie knows how to get him up. Rusty always shows up when the Nabisco shredded wheat's on. That's right, Sarge. A raft of Nabisco shredded wheat for breakfast should make things exciting for my adventures. You never catch Rusty skipping breakfast. Not when there's such a raft of energy for work and for play. And not when there's such a raft of good things to grow on as there is in each tasty Nabisco shredded wheat biscuit. So, every day be good to yourself. Eat shredded wheat for breakfast. Get a big bath of Nabisco, the original shredded wheat. Here's the freight manifest for the old issue ammunition we loaded on for Kansas City. You can sign for the new issue when you finish loading it on the wagon. Yes, sir. I'm going to treat Rusty to lunch, so we'll meet you at the livery bar. <laughs> right, sir. This mess holds off limits to Rennie. Can't we go someplace else and rip? Well, son, I'm afraid it'd be the same story at any restaurant in town. Rennie can eat with a man this time. We brought rations from the fort. Gee, it sure seems silly. Rennie wouldn't make any trouble. Yeah. Private Rent in tin. Report back to Sergeant O'Hare at the railroad station. <laughs> That's it, man. Take the wagon over to the livery barn. I'll go over and sign the manifest. waiting in Kansas City. That's where this here train's going. <laughs> I knew you'd see it my way, partner. Pleased to meet you. Name's Bucky. Best fry cook of the Union. Mess sergeant for General Grant in the big war. Don't give me away. soldier to obey orders without resenting him, Rusty. You mean that Rennie isn't with you, sir? No. I sent him back to the railroad station when we found out dogs couldn't go in the cafe. Well, the men on the wagons are back at the livery barn. We haven't seen Rennie since you went to lunch. Well, he probably got there after the men at the station. We'll go over and take a look. Yes. Gosh, you hey, Mark. I'm sorry I got you to this fix, partner. But you and me's both locked in here all the way to Kansas City. Just you wait, Poe. I got me that job waiting in Kansas City. Fry cook in a big restaurant. Got a report for work Monday morning. There's enough grub in my bindle to get us there. And lots of good straw to make a bed. 
From then on, it'll be nothing but inch thick steaks and foot thick mattresses for you and me, hey, Bill? <laughs> Master says he hasn't seen anything of a dog. Gee, I should have explained to Ernie about the cafe. I don't think he took it that seriously, Rusty. He probably headed back for the fort when he didn't find O'Hare and the men here at the station. Sure, Rusty. He'll be in the chow line at Fort Apache while we're still on the trail. Sure. Maybe. I don't know, though. He never did anything like this before. Now, Rennie's able to take care of himself, and he wouldn't just run away. So come on, soldier. We've got to start from home ourselves. Maybe we'll catch up with it. feels the same way that you do about him. But we can't stay up here all the time watching for him. We just gotta have faith that he's all right. He'll come back. But he's been gone for days. Oh, going without your own food and rest isn't gonna help, Rennie. He wouldn't want you to act like this. No. You go down to the mess hall, have the sergeant fix you up with a good dinner. It's uh, kind of a shame, sir. O'Hara, you think Rennie could have gotten on that train, locked in a boxcar or something? It's possible, sir. We haven't seen him around since the train pulled out. I'm going to telegraph a friend of mine in Kansas City, have him ask around the freight yards. Yeah, if they found him, they could ship him back. Oh, uh, don't mention it to Rusty. We want to get his hopes up. Oh, no. Partner. Right out the Bo. We gotta get out of this car and pass them railroad detectors. This is it. Open it up. Well, looks okay. There'll be some soldiers along in a few minutes to unload this stuff. We don't like to leave explosives around the yard, especially with a loaded passenger train on the other track. Stay right where you are. Uh, look, Mr. Detective, sir. We didn't do nothing. We just rode a little ways in that damn boxcar. Please, I got a job waiting for me, but I gotta be there in the morning. I won't ever get it. I don't think you're gonna have to worry about a job. I'm gonna fix you up with one. On the county work farm. 30 days. <laughs> Hold it there, pup. We got enough stray dogs in this city. You're going to the pound. Come on.
it flows. There's a loaded passenger train on the next track. If that fire had ever gotten to that ammunition, it was my fault. I left the lantern in the straw. Yeah, you can thank my partner here. He's the one to give the alarm. I guess I owe you both more than a little thanks. You and your partner saved my job. The least I can do is give you a fair chance at yours. Well, take good care of your partner there. Sure wish he was mine. Well, he got me here to my cook job all safe. I guess he's got other fish to fry. from a friend of mine in Kansas City. Kansas City? Yes, so. Um, you see, somehow, Rennie got locked in a boxcar on that train that took the old issue ammunition back east. The railroad detective said he saw a dog like him there in the freight yard. Well, when are they going to send him home? Well, that's just it. They can't. He ran away before anybody could catch him and find out where he belonged. Then I'm going to Kansas City myself. Uh, no, Rusty. It wouldn't do any good. This friend of mine there has done everything that can be done. He put ads in the newspapers, checked with the police, the pounds. Rennie's left Kansas City, Rusty. Just disappeared. Then he's on his way home. That's why I left Kansas City. He's coming home, Rip, by himself. Well, Rusty, Kansas City's an awful long way from here. Nearly 1,500 miles. Rennie can make it. Watch out, Judy. Don't get too far out. Looks like he's just exhausted, about half starved. He's come a long way. Oh, Papa, can I keep him? Can I keep him for my very own dog? Now, Judy, let's don't go through all that again. You know how I feel about dogs. They're just too much trouble. Please, Papa, please. I'll take care of him. Honest, I will. He won't be any trouble for you. Well, we can't just leave him here. You can keep him till he gets better. Well, Traveler, old boy, I expect you could do with a square meal. That's his name. Traveler. That's what I call him. Traveler. And now, kids, here's a special offer. Gosh, a red tin tin ring. Hey, Buffalo B, how can we get one? It's easy. Get Nabisco wheat honeys or rice honeys and you'll find every package contains a free ring. Here's an adjustable, colorful plastic ring of Rinny, Rusty, Sergeant O'Hara, Indians, 12 free rings in all. So have fun collecting all 12 while you enjoy those delicious honeyed wheat and rice puffs. <laughs> here in the fresh air than back in that old house all the time. You stay here, Traveler, and act real sick. I know you're getting well, but don't get well too soon, please. As long as you're still kind of sick, Papa will let me keep you.
That night, I don't know what I'd done if he hadn't been with you. I can't swim either. Then I can keep him? Can he stay? He has a home with us just as long as he wants to stay. Good boy. Let's get dried off and get some dinner. feet were the day we found him. How I said he'd come a long way. That's why you named him Traveler. Well, he's got to keep traveling because he belongs to some other little boy or girl. We just helped him along the way. But he made me see one thing. You're going to have a dog of your own just as soon as I can get you a puppy. Oh, Papa, will he look like Traveler? Just as close as I can make it. Charlotte, just a poor old dog, plum tuckered out. Howdy, fella. Looks like you've come a fair piece. Here's you could do with some grab and a better rest. We could use a good hound like this when we get to Oregon, Charlotte. That's just fine, but you keep him away from the baby. I don't trust stray dogs, especially out here a thousand miles from nowhere. Now, don't you worry about him. I know dogs. And this here is a real crackerjack. Just scan it up a mite. All right. All right, but just you mind what I said about the baby. Never you mind, fella, about her. Women folks are just naturally suspicious. She'll come around in time. Now let's get you some vittles. Come on. are gone. I want you to apologize to the scout here, Charlotte. He just up and saved the whole family. Thanks, scout. I'll fix the damage to that leg.
there. We'll meet up with the wagon train before sundown. Big Spring ought to be right over them little hills. Then we're off to Oregon. Why, a scout. And he's running away. He's taking the other trail to California. Well, aren't you going after him, Manley? No, Charlotte. Leave him be. Some dogs only know one master. The scout came a long ways before he met up with us. I reckon he's got more to go. And I reckon he knows where he's going. Yeah. Hi, Corporal. Say, I'm looking for volunteers to help me round up some remounts this afternoon. No, thanks, Rip. If it's all the same, Rudy might come back while I was gone. I'd rather draw a detail here at the fort. Rusty. Well, okay, son, if that's what you want. Him. At least he'll sleep now. No, he doesn't eat enough to keep a bird alive. Is there anything we can do? I don't know. I just don't know. But there's no medicine for some ailments. Do you think maybe, Doc, if we got Rusty another dog? Would another person replace your best friend, O'Hara? Uh, I know what you mean, sir. Yeah. Well, eventually, you can do something like that. Just now, Rusty thinks that winter's coming back. Maybe that faith will see him through. Rennie isn't coming back. She is too, Rip. Just wish you'd hurry up. Well, look, you, you don't realize how far away Kansas City is. It'd be almost impossible for a man with supplies and money to make it here if he had to travel on foot. Rennie can make it. He spent weeks, Rusty. Came this far by himself. We're gonna carry him the rest of the way. Yes, sir. Wow. You seen our next story, Rusty? Boy, I sure hope Rennie can do those tricks. Ah, uh, he can do them okay. Kids are ready. <laughs> See, how come Rennie runs tricks so fast? We're real.